You're watching Statistics Made Simple and I am Savita Welsung. Continuing with control charts for attributes, in this video I'll explain the C chart for number of defects. The C charts are used to monitor and to control the number of defects per unit. Let's see, denote the number of defects observed in each of the K samples. Then C follows Poisson distribution with parameter lambda, where lambda is the average number of defects per unit in the population and is written as C follows P within brackets lambda, where P stands for the Poisson distribution. This one is when the process standard is known, that is lambda is known. Let us assume that lambda is equal to some lambda dash. The three sigma control limits are given by CL is equal to lambda dash, UCL is equal to lambda dash plus three times root lambda dash, and LCL is equal to lambda dash minus three times root lambda dash. Case 2 is when the process standard is unknown, that is lambda value is unknown. In this case, the three sigma control limits are given by CL equal to C bar, UCL is equal to C bar plus three times root C bar, and LCL is equal to C bar minus three times root C bar. Here, C bar is used as its estimate, which is based on a sample, and is given by C bar is equal to summation C divided by K. Let us now learn how to interpret the control charts or how to detect lack of control. The purpose of using a control chart is to detect variations due to assignable causes. If no points lie outside the control limits, the process is in statistical control. Following situations indicate the lack of control in the production process. Suppose you have one or two points lying outside the control limits or a run of seven or more subsequent points lie on one side of the central line or you have an upward or downward trend in the points. Presence of cyclical variation in the points also indicates lack of control. Three sigma control limits for the C chart or the defects chart is very simple and easy to remember. Do practice the formulae. Thank you all for watching and look out for my next video where I'll find solutions based on the C chart.